Recently, I did a video on how to load a preview LUT on the Zcam E2S6. And one of the questions that I kept getting was, why would I want to load a preview LUT on a camera versus loading a preview LUT onto a monitor like this Atomos Shinobi? And I'm gonna answer that here in a second. However, if you have not seen that video on loading the LUT onto the Zcam, you can check it out right here via the link floating in the sky, or you can go down in the description below and check it out there. Now, to answer your questions about loading a LUT onto a camera versus loading it onto the monitor, there are some limitations when it comes to previewing a LUT on a camera like the Zcam E2S6. In particular, the Zcam E2S6, F6, and F8 do disable the preview LUT when you are recording at higher bit rates. And the reason for this is because the camera is conserving processing power for recording. So this way you're not dropping frames. However, the downfall or downside to that is that you are not able to see your preview LUT while you're recording. Now, what this means is that if you are making any exposure changes while you are recording, you will not be able to see what's happening with the preview LUT. So in that case, you would want to install a preview LUT on a monitor like this Atomos Shinobi. Now I'm gonna show you guys really quick, just like I showed you how to install a preview LUT on the camera, I'm gonna show you how to install it on the Shinobi real fast. And it's simple, it's very, very easy. And you could do this on other monitors that install LUTs. For instance, the Atomos Ninja V, you would use the SSD, or in this case, for the Shinobi, we're gonna use an SD card. Now I have the same LUTs that I used for the Zcam video, and these are the Exigent LUTs. And all you would have to do is simply install the SD card and don't put it in backwards like I almost just did. And you simply navigate to your settings and then you go to LUTs and then you find an open spot, whether it's one through eight in this instance, and then you tap the folder icon. Now, if you have a LUT already installed, it's gonna ask you, do you want to overwrite the 3D LUT? We're gonna say confirm and then it's going to load up a UI here and it's gonna have all of the LUTs that are on this SD card. So in this case, we are going to load the exposure LUT V2 negative two, and then we're going to hit load LUT. And it's going to load the LUT and it's gonna take a little bit. It all depends on what monitor you're using, how long it takes, but the Shinobi is fairly quick and we're going to wait and wait and LUT is loaded and we're gonna hit confirm. Now the LUT is loaded onto the monitor and the way we are going to access this LUT is by simply tapping this little curve icon and the curve icon has the name of the LUT you'll see here at the top. Now there is a way to toggle this LUT on and off and to do that you simply tap the name of the LUT at the top and if it is disabled it'll say native in this box here on the bottom left and if it's enabled you will see LUT and then to simply change the LUT to a different LUT that you're using, you simply go back to LUTs and hit one through eight and choose whatever you want. So it's pretty simple. That's how you install it on a monitor like the Atomos Shinobi. And again, you would want to use your monitor in the event that your camera cannot handle processing displaying a preview LUT. Now, you could use it on your iPhone for the Zcam, or you could use it on the monitor, or you could use it on the camera itself. It all depends on what you are recording and what mode you're recording in and what the camera can handle. So I hope that quickly, briefly explains why you wanna use the preview LUT on your monitor versus on the camera. If you guys learned something from this video and you found value in it, please give it the old thumbs up and share it on social media. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Until next time, take care.